I'm Hernando County Sheriff Alanine Heiss. And I'm Ray Pender, Superintendent of Hernando County Schools. Now today we're here to talk a little bit about school threats. In the first 31 days of school, my deputies and school administrators investigated 136 school-related threats. Yes, you heard that right, 136 school-related threats made by students in just the first 31 days of school. And these threats actually resulted in 10 physical arrests. A threat, whether verbal or written, can be as simple as a five-year-old telling a classmate that he's going to shoot him, to a 14-year-old making a post on social media about bombing schools. Regardless of the age of the student, the context, or whether there was true intent to do harm, every threat must be investigated and a threat assessment must be completed for every threat made. And for the vast majority of these careful and time-consuming investigations conducted by school administrators and deputies, the result most often leads to the student claiming they were just joking around. School threats are no joke, and we investigate every single one of them. Parents, please talk with your students today and regularly about the seriousness of making threats. While suspension and expulsion are consequences that the school district can apply, there are other, even more serious consequences that can impact a student's future. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office and Hernando County Schools have a zero tolerance for school threats and students will face criminal charges and or school discipline for making any threat. Now criminal charges can range from a simple arrest to actual confinement at a juvenile detention facility and can include the parents or legal guardians actually being responsible to pay restitution for the entire investigation and that could be thousands of dollars depending on the investigation. The increase in these threats is a concerning trend that demands our immediate attention. We must approach this challenge with seriousness and determination. By working together, students, parents, staff, and law enforcement, we must reverse this trend because making, making threats, threats is, is no, no joke. joke.